What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. My name is Nick Howell. Today we're going to be taking a deeper dive on Google Cloud and NetApp's Cloud Volume Services. We've gone over the basics of NFS and SMB, but now we're going to start getting into some of the more operational and procedural type of things like the ability to access cross region, all of that kind of stuff. So sit back, enjoy. Let's jump over to the computer and let's take it from there. So here we are, guys, in the Google Cloud dashboard, checking out our volumes. We've got AppVol1. That if you've been following along, we've got that here. But if we jump over to the Compute Engine, you can see that we've now got all of our instances in here as well. The first three you'll see are all in the same region, US Central, different availability zones. That's all good. But if you look down at the fourth one, we're actually in a new region now. We're in East 4, availability zone C. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be mounting AppVol1 across region to this new instance as well. So let's quickly jump over to some command lines. We're going to pull up all four inter uh, instances and we're going to do a quick DF minus H on all four of them so that you can see the volume uh, being mounted everywhere, at least across the first three for now. We do not have it on instance four just yet. So you can see it on the first three, but we've got this new instance in the East four region that we need to mount it to as well. So let's, we don't have many files in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount a volume and we're gonna take a look at what it looks like running it across region. So let's quickly write a 100 meg file using just a simple DD command. Uh, we'll put that in there. You'll see it happens almost instantaneously, super high performance kind of stuff. Uh, we see the file when we do a DF on the other instances. So there it is as well in instance two. This one, however, does not have the volume mounted. So we need to mount that volume. So let's go over to AppVol. We'll open up our cheat sheet, uh, our mount instructions, if you've been following along. Uh, we'll copy that command. And we're going to go back to instance four, which is in east four. And we're going to mount it just like that. And we're going to do a DF. And there it is, right? So let's clear the screen and now we can do it LS and we're going to look and we should see the DD test file and we do. How about that? But we can access it, we can read it, but can we write to that volume as well that's in a different region? So we'll do a quick little VI, we'll open up. This is a test write. There's the test file. And if you go and look at the instances in the other ones, you're going to see the file there as well. So again, this is... The beauty of this is that we're going across region here, guys. Mounting, very little latency. Uh, we're, we have the ability to read and write across uh, regions from the same volume. And that is the key thing to take away here. We've got one volume that is centralized and unified across our entire VPC in Google Cloud that you can write, read and write to and from from any instance in any region inside of Google Cloud. So if we come over here and we take a quick snapshot, all right, we'll give it a quick name. We'll call it DS Snap one click create. And there we go. Notice that it's using zero gigabytes, Gibby bytes, Gibby bytes. So let's say for example, we lost that file and we wanted to remove it. Uh, make sure see if it was gone. We were going to start removing all kinds of stuff. Somebody, a rogue actor, a bad actor got in and just started deleting files. Well, the beauty is, is that we took a snapshot of that volume. So if we do an LS minus A to show all, you can see the hidden directory of dot snapshot. So there's a several different ways you can go about this. If you want to do single file recovery, simply navigate into the dot snapshot directory go to the actual folder for the snap that you want to recover from. And if you do an LS inside of that, you'll see the files as they were at the time you took the snapshot. So now just do a CP, a copy, the file back to uh, your volume. Then there you go, right? We can, we can take a complete look at snapshots. We can recover them to any region. Any workload can have a snapshot directory like that. You can schedule these snapshots on a recurring basis, uh, hourly, daily, weekly kind of basis uh, using the native schedules built into Google Cloud, uh, as well as come back and recover files at a file level within your, just from a command line, within your instances. So there you have it guys, a really quick, easy example of how you can mount volumes from other regions to your workloads and be able to leverage that for a multitude of reasons, some of which we're going to be showing in future videos right here on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you get notified anytime we add new videos. Thanks very much for watching and take care.